what's up everybody it's me your boy worst effing gamer and uh check it out guys a brand new hero just dropped in the game who doesn't love the snow this is my kind of hero right now because uh i love my snow and i love the freeze team and i'm always always trying to get the best freeze team that you can possibly get so this hero might actually be a great addition to my team here so let's go check it out her name is what the hell is her name oh alicia bye alicia so we got Alicia here, and we're going to go ahead and right now summon her really quickly, and then we will begin the spotlight. So let's start the spotlight right now with a temple. Temple for the luck of Dicky. Darn it! We only got four pieces. Ah, oh, that's not that good, guys. All right, second temple. Come on, look. Come to me, Alicia. You know I love you and you love me back. Oh my god. No, she doesn't. Okay. Third temple. <sighs> Luck is not that good right now, guys. Damn it! Fourth temple. Damn, cuz. What the hell is going on? Still nothing. Oh, by the time that I actually get her, I might be able to four-star her at this rate. OMG, we are at 38 pieces, guys. This is not good. This doesn't bode well for my luck. Holy moly. Okay, okay. This is the one. I can feel it in my bones and veins. This is it. Oh. All right. Come on, Felicia. I mean, Alicia. I keep wanting to call her Felicia, but it's Alicia. Yo. Wowzers, Bowsers. I'm completely lost track of what the hell the number even is right now. Oh, oh my god. I'm literally only 20 away from 4 starring her, even when I do get her. That's good and not good at the same time. Here we are. Come on! What is going on? How? Usually, the special event hero is not that hard, guys. Usually, the drop rates are a lot better than this. This gotta be a special case for me because, oh my god, look at this. I can already summon her now. So, this is some crazy schnizmit. So, yeah, the, the drop rates are usually way better. Jesus Christ, dude. Is it me? How were your guys' drop rates, man? Is it better than mine? There's no way it could have taken you this long. This is crazy. I might be out of gems at this point. I started off with around 15,000. Finally! Holy hell! Wow! Damn! Alright. That cost a lot, but look at her. She's looking freaking fine. Whoa! Damn, Alicia. Look at you, girl. Oh, ice queen. The ice queen. That's pretty sick. Alright, guys. Wow. I do love her, though. Me love her. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, she's looking good. She's looking pretty good, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's start this spotlight video now. Are you serious right now? I just pulled her twice in one row? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's phenomenal. What are the chances of that? Look at... You see how luck turns around, guys? I get the card, and then I get the card back-to-back -back two... Pulls in one. So now I have 120 of her. I can definitely four star her. That's actually a good thing. So let's just go ahead. Let's start this spotlight the right way. And I guess we're going to start her off at four stars right away. Booyakasha! So we don't even, before we even level her up, four stars right there, guys. Ice Queen looks amazing. Let's go ahead, upgrade it to level 100 right now. And then we are going to fuse her. Ooh, nice. Oh, I wish there was a fuse all button to fuse literally all of them. But this is okay. I can handle this. It's not a big deal. Oh, wow. That was a nice turn of events right there, guys. Pretty, I guess, good. I got her twice in one. Now, my luck was really bad. Took me a long, long time to get her. But depending on how good this girl can be, I might want her to get her to five star either way. I, I love, you know promoting the heroes as much as I possibly can and this is a special you know what I mean event hero usually drop rates are a lot better that's why I, 
I'm so shocked that it took me so long to get her, but either way, let's go ahead, let's try to fuse her up all the way here, and then we will see exactly how good she is, depending on her abilities, and check it out guys, you can already tell the blinking light, she has an awakening, phenomenal, very, very cool, so I'm loving the awakening so far for her, and I don't even know what the hell it is, so mind you, when I actually do read it, it could be good or it could be sucky. Let's find out right now. All right, let's begin the abilities. First ability is called Blizzard, and actually, it's freaking freezing in my country right now. I mean, my country, in my state right now, guys. It's freaking cold as hell, and I feel like there's a blizzard outside at all times. So very uh, weird that they sent the Ice Queen and. It's kind of weird how they released her right after Christmas too, right? Christmas time, snowman, ice queen. Very cool, very cool. All right, so Alicia summons a blizzard that deals magic damage over time to enemies in range. Whoa, magic over time. All right, let's bring this to six, level six. And let's see. Snow wave deals 200 points. Uh, what? Snow wave deals, wait. Snow wave damage increases 200 points. Whoa, what? That's 200 points. Not sure if that's, I mean, not sure if that's a lot or not, but 200 points to the wave of snow. All right, we'll find out what that does eventually, but this is pretty cool damage over time. I'm not sure exactly the base damage of over time, but I'm guessing it's pretty good since her ultimate, right? Next one, Ice Snare. Uh, Alicia uses an ice missile to freeze the target. The missile also deals the... What the... Why is the wording so confusing? The missile also deals, stuns the target and deals magic damage. You see what I'm saying? So confusing, but I guess you can understand what it's saying. Um, a nice snare. She's going to freeze an opponent. The missile also deals, deals magic damage and stuns. Right, that's all they have to say. Let's just go ahead and up this one as well, and uh, let's see, deals a base of 170 damage, that's not a lot of damage, but I'm guessing the best thing about this one is it's gonna freeze somebody, really good, we already have some other heroes that can freeze, so this is gonna go very well with the freeze team, yes, I'm loving Alicia over here, I am loving her style, Alicia uh, attacks an enemy in range with an ice bomb, slowing them and dealing magic damage, ooh, okay, so slowing them and dealing some edge damage. So all attributes are ice, as you can already tell. Pretty sick. Uh, love heroes that have attributes because you know something will be coming later in the future for attribute heroes. So there's a lot of things to come for the attributes. So right now, let's ignore them. Uh, fourth ability, Queen's Glory. All right, right in the glory hole. A spell cast by Alicia allows all teammates to gradually regain energy over time. Whoa! Alright! Yo, this is a sick ability here. What? Regain energy over time? That's sick! Uh, aura. All the allies recover 150 health. Wait, health or energy? What the... What is this? Health points per minute. Uh, that could be a miswording, guys. I'm, I think it could be a miswording. That might just mean energy. And they just worded it differently, I'm pretty sure. Alright. So, 150 energy points per minute. And maybe maxed out, you can get a lot more than that. But that's pretty dope. But in a real battle, a minute... A real battle is about a minute and a half. So... Essentially, once... If you can last a whole minute in the battle with her you will probably get a nice boost in energy. So this could be a game changer right here for magic heroes. I'm liking this a lot, actually. Even even physical heroes, so... Pretty cool abilities. Now let's take a look at Queen's Protection. When Alicia's health is critically low, she casts a spell which forms a shield around the teammate. This shield uh, can absorb some damage. Okay, that's very, very cool. Sounds kind of familiar, though, huh? And this is kind of what I was referring to, guys. So, Arctur senses which teammate is under the greatest threat and forms an ice blockade around them. Uh, while behind the blockade, the teammate cannot move, but is protected from all damage and will quickly recover health. Arctur will not target a, te a teammate who is immune to control abilities or who is currently using their ultimate. This ability may only be used once per battle. Alright, alright. So, this is um, Arctur's 
awakened ability if you didn't already know but it's essentially it kind of does the same thing as that one it will form an ice blockade and protect the hero so that's kind of very similar to alicia's right so alicia's is very very similar but the only problem is when her health is very low then she will cast the shield around the teammate it doesn't say she will cast it around herself which is strange because uh, if her health is low, she's probably the one that needs it the most. But she's actually, before I guess one last prey, before she goes away in the battle, she casts a shield to help out one teammate before she dies. So, very sick. Not bad. Not bad, Alicia. Not bad. Alright, so let's go ahead, guys. Let's take this chick out into a battle so we can see how exactly she performs and uh, what these attacks look like here. Let's go! Alright guys, so here we are, we are in a campaign battle just to see our boy Alicia, I mean our girl Alicia here, but we do have Soren protecting her a little bit in the front there, so let's just see how she does. That's Soren's shield. Now abilities are probably too low to actually have an effect, but I want to just check out her ultimate here, so let's go, here we go. Kabuya, Blizzard, boom, whoa! What? At this low level, that did about... 8 to 10,000 each one, and it hits AoE damage, I mean AoE damage on everybody, so that's really cool. Let's see here, go. Boom, boom, wow! That's really powerful. Alright, so that could be a really good ultimate right there, guys. Very sick. This ultimate is sick, but um, for some reason you cannot use it twice in a battle. I'm guessing it's because it does AoE damage. Alright, there's her freeze, that's really cool. Alright, that's a pretty good freeze there. Probably about one or two seconds at this point. So it seems like you can only use her ultimate once per wave, which is very strange. Hmm. Once per wave ultimate? Does that negate how good she can really be? Because this is a really, really good... This is a really sick ultimate right here. Look at this. Boom! Wow! That just does a lot of damage. Now, the problem is, if she can only do this once per battle that's really bad but it does say that it it does damage over time so it should continue on right but let's see if i can use that again right here once it, nope you can't that's very strange it's either a glitch in the game which i doubt or it really is a there really is a possibility but i haven't really seen this kind of a possibility here unless a hero transforms let me go ahead and leave the battle here. So, like I said, unless one of the heroes transforms, kind of like, um, like Haruk, kind of like Aldor, they transform so their energy levels just slowly deteriorate. Hers doesn't work like that. Hers, she uses a Blizzard, and then she should use it again. Snow Wave, da uh, Snow Wave damage increases two hundred points. So. Does that mean each Icicle increases 200 points as it hits? So by the time she hits the last Icicles, it's very, very strong. Could be. Blizzard that deals magic damage over time to enemies in range. Hmm, does, doesn't appear to say why it doesn't work twice in a battle, but it, that's what it seemed like, guys. So it, we'll have to find out to see if that's a glitch or not. If it is a glitch, it's kind of weird. I mean, if it is a glitch, it's fine. But if it's not a glitch, it's very, very strange that they would do that. But... Anyways, this hero is pretty sick, guys. I'm enjoying, you know, using her so far. And I can't wait to use her a lot more, alright? So, I'm gonna have to end it off here for the spotlight. I like her. I give her two thumbs up. She's... So far, she looks like she's probably one of the better magic heroes in the game. Believe it or not. Like, seriously, in an arena battle, I would probably use her over a lot of the other magic heroes that we have. So, right away, she jumps up in the magic uh, department... But we'll have to find out and dig a little further into her abilities and see how good she can be, alright? But we will do that more on the live stream, so I'm going to end the video off here. I will catch you guys next time on another Soul Hunter Spotlight video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night! Peace out, everybody!